Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith of the Black Channel here at Ticker Talker, and if it's Tuesday, it's the Strat Attack Show. Yep, we get up in the urban assault vehicle and see what's going on. So it's getting a little sticky out there uh, between exhaustion risk and uh, some conflict. And what I mean by that is here we got the spy. And yep, so we open up this month here, going to the highs, right? And so it does its little job here on the weekly here, right? And so here had that slight poke down. It's just this grind. We could use a little more of this kind of stuff, right? But it uh, pokes down, then went 2-2. Two, two, and now these three bars are an outside bar of all this, right? So you're exhausting because you're going into the highs, right? So you have nothing to take out anymore. So that's when you get something like this. Ugh. Little gap or upper to the old try and then back off a little bit. So uh, a little sticky in here to start off the week. We'll see if we go 2-2 two, two down. Uh, but, you know, it's just kind of grindy every day. We're kind of tracking down other things to go after. So if we go to QQQ, here's where it gets a little more interesting. Um, trying to here, we had a nice ripper here on the opening in the 60. And then just the rest of the day. just Because we're watching to see this, the weekly. If we can maintain an inside week to the upside, right? The 212 reversal. The problem is still this monthly it's technically a two down, and you can see here this this, this is bad. <laughs> this is a problem when you have this opening and closing range, albeit we had some movement here, but those things often came in like one week and then the rest of the time sitting there doing nothing. So you can see this really tight range just between the opening and close for the last three months. That's an issue. So um, we'll get to some of these things. A lot more uh, stocks are closer to being a two up, which a QQQ is, you know, so long as it's above this, 319.86, which it is. It's just uh, you can see it drops back in a little bit. So we'll get to a few more of those in a second. If we go to the Dow Jones Diamonds, the Diamonds also did their job on the weekly. Triangle the out. You get your outside bar. You poke down. Boom, boom, boom. And up into the highs. And then you get this. <laughs> you get your exhaustion. And now, inside day for the diamonds, huh? Okay, inside day, stuck up into here. So, uh, you know, we'll see what comes of that. If you go to small cappers, here in small cappers, a little worse here on the day, coming in. Um, however, not the end of the world because you get this monthly. Uh, still going into the highs, nowhere near taking out the lows. And the weekly, here, nowhere near taking out these weekly lows. But you can see once again here on the weekly, the poke down, that these two become an outside bar of all that, and then just kind of flatlining. So it is what it is. So uh, we can go look at the Apes, GameStop, cooking an inside week here. And real nice in here what that did was when you get stuck in this outside bar, right, we talk about the mother bar, is any bar before a one, right? And then if you don't get out of there, you want to be real careful because then you can have price discovery start over again, which we did. So you had this, then the rev strat, one, two, bam, take it out. And then today, take out the lows. And so if you go to a 60, you'll see something like this. Here. So that doesn't take this out, I don't believe. And so it expands. And so the question is, does it get worse? Here's your broadening formation here, right? There was that rev strat that was beautiful, and then inside, 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 and boom, down she goes. So the question is, when we rally back through this, right, or keep expanding down, because uh, it is an inside week. So, you know, back and forth we go, and it is green on the month. So there's that conflict. So we can keep an eye on that to see if GameStop can uh, rise again off the daily and come back up here and price discover again and take that out. That would be real nice. So we'll see. Um, so like I said, with the QQQ and the weeklies, just want to see how many of these things we can get going. If we go to the semis themselves, SMH here, two down, two up. That's good. That's still good. If we go to XLK here, inside week, up over 133.17, right? And you're there, just not by much. And so it's important to know that XLK is like 50% Microsoft, which is just kind of sitting there, and Apple here, which, yeah. And Apple, which is 2-2 two, two up on the week right now, right? Just not doing much on the month. All well, these monthlies are kind of an issue here because we like to have nice long red and green bars by the time we get to St. Patrick's Day, which we don't have. Uh, what we do have is Intel still holding a slight inside month to the upside, albeit exhaustion. Triangle they out. And off she goes. You see this? You see all of this? 
is within these two bars. If this was a two month a two month pattern, th that would be this would be inside of that. And here's where you see your price discovery start over again. You see, and then your inside month, and off she goes. But we'll see if that can continue expand if uh, the semis and all the the Nasdaq stuff goes. LRCX, you can see this still inside month problem, but seeing if we can get that three two two week going with AVGO. And AVGO, here's that three two two. So we're still looking to gun for this thing up into here, right? The problem again on these monthlies, it's dojis, man. But you do have the three two two on the week. If we go to um, Nvidia. It's a whole bunch of this stuff looking similar. Two down, two up, back into the tri she goes. Here's your broadening formation, right? Expand it up and down. That's what they do. That's the that's the name. So NVIDIA so much is over 521.85. Keep that on the radar still. Um, if you go to uh, you know, like Marvell, just a whole bunch of these things looking slightly inside and up. How's market chip? Slightly. How's AMD? Just slightly, but they're all, they have those signals, they just haven't really gone, but uh, we're going to keep paying attention to all that stuff because it matters. Uh, if we go to uh, some retail, we got Macy's. And Macy's still inside and up on the month here, trying to take this thing out. So Macy's also goes inside day to day. And we had some nice stuff last week with that, that 3 one, 2 weaker going up and then nice day off the inside day combination. Now you got another inside day, we'll see if we can go after that. Nordstrom's. Uh, inside day, so there's a lot, like this week, some things stalling out, but you are still a month and up uh, over there. If we go to Moderna, conflict on that month, but you're coming back up here and you do have this. The inside week backing up back through the previous range, that's good. Uh, if we go to ABV, and ABV inside week to the upside. This was in the weekend video because it's been real tight in here, right? Trying to get out of this mother bar. But we'd like to see the combinations. And that was an inside week to the upside over 108.69. And if that works, it triggers this inside month to the upside here over 110.27. So you got both of those right now. See if we can take this thing out like so. If we go to iHeart and iHeart Media, and media stocks have been good, and inside month to the upside, still good, and just had a nice run today, here, boom, so we'll see if that can continue, because uh, we know that a lot of these media stuff, disc is blasting off, Viacom, been blasting off, but now an inside day, might want to keep an eye on Dish, this is warming up just a little bit if they want to see Something that's been a lot higher, right? Coming out of this stuff right into here. Uh, if we go to some downside, got a little bit of problems in the energy patch. If we go to OIH, not doing much on the month like a lot of doji monsters, and that's kind of an issue for a lot of things. But uh, you do have the 2-2 reversal on the week, right? So that's something I'd want to know about for my slobs, for my Halliburtons, for my HPs. All that kind of stuff. Not totally getting killed, but something I'd want to know about. Um, you also have Emerald Haas, right? And it tells us to maybe take a look at XLE. How's that doing? XLE taking the week down. You got XOP here, still inside week. So some potential weakness over there to keep an eye on. Uh, if we go to Baba. And Baba, still weak. Trying to go Momo Shooter here. And you got still the Rev Strat Month here to the downside. <clears throat> so you can see all this. Inside, pokes up, there's your higher high. Let's get that lower low and take this baby down, hopefully. Roku, and Roku is inside weak. You got some distance on that, which is a problem. And, however, it is still 2-2 two, two month of the downside, so that still has our attention because of that. You go to Coop here, still two down handily, all right, weekly. Still inside weak for two days, but you can see it's still red and, you know, hanging down near the low. Something I'd want to know about down there. Okta, Okta, inside weak handily. That's got a big week to get out of, unfortunately. It is still, however, Revstrat month or MongoDB. Also still Revstrat month. Uh, however, this week, just kind of lethargic, but it takes out a partial high but anytime you can get that going you still have that that rev strat month or to going to the downside and get that full time frame continuity going uh, if we go to shop 
and shop goes inside week and pokes up and already comes back in for potential rev strat and that's important because of this monthly here we'll see if we can re-break down into here it's just kind of stuck in here like a lot of things on the daily is the problem right just stuck in there so we'll see irtc and yeah, thought they might have a chance and then boom two two day back right back down and the weekly now potential an outside week to the downside and monthly 312 to the downside so we'll see if that continues if we go to vfc and vfc gives us the one bar rev strat monther and this week does this three one two takes care of business by taking this out but we'll see if we can get more out of that if you go to ipaper just a two two weaker here on the shooter down so we'll see if that continues once again on this Weekly, you can see the higher highs and the lower lows, and that was going to be on your monthly. Remember, we were watching this because of this. The higher highs, the lower low triangle they out, and then boom, takes care of business, hits magnitude, now trying to go back the other way. Go to Emerson Electric, and it's still green on the month, but, uh, you know, when you get to the Tuesday, we want to see who's taking out last week's lows, and that would be Emerson Electric for right now. Uh, mirror prize a little bit. We saw a little bit of a little bit of weakness there. Just FAS here is just red on the week, so just had a couple down days. So uh, a lot of conflict out there because FAS is bright green on the month. So a lot of these things we're going to be playing things as we see them. Uh, a lot of the gappers and stuff like Futu today was real nice here, and Futu actually didn't gap very much because it was still inside day where it went. Um, because it's closed here. It was still an inside day, but it was had enough movement. So that's why it was on the gapper list. And then if you go down to 30, you can see this. Here, the sideways 60. This is real nice in here, right? That's not going to show up as a 60 when you go on to a 60. Here, right? Actually, 2-2 two, two here. That was nice. Inside down, off the 60. A lot of nice entries in this. And if you go to the 30, once again, right? Now, if this updated at a different time, that would be an inside 60 because this was 60 minutes inside of this. That's why we call it a sideways 60. You have to see it in your mind. So, boom, this takes out here, all right, below 160, 105, right? And then rev strats here, inside, up, boom, hit them again, 149.06, boom, and then inside and up to cover above 142.46. That's some pretty nice chunkers, I think, especially when you know that you could hit also hit it on the 60. Inside here, the two two up, two down, hit it there. Then the inside for the continuation. And then, boop, cover down here off the bell. When you're coming into the bell, real nice. And another good thing is that it, once you have a big chunk, like here, 30. So once you have it from 160, 105, and you're already down here to 148, you already got, you know, 12, 13 bucks in it. You can ride it down on the top of the 60 and muscle that rev strat out here and not get stopped out. And then you, boom, you can add it there, right? And just keep adding and, and then walk it down on the 60s, you see? So there's a little bit of uh, advice on how to trade the gappers. All right, that's going to do it for today. So we're going to keep an eye on that NASDAQ to see if those things can reheat up. A lot of those things trying to be too up on the week, just a little slow, but uh, they can heat up because it would be simultaneous break. Uh, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith Black Channel here at Ticker Talk and Strat Attack.